Welcome to a Center Mass series on graph theory, where we're going to talk a little bit about some basic definitions of what a graph is. Uh, so a graph is a set. In the set, you have a, the vertices. And between the vertices, we have symmetric, non-reflexive relations uh, called edges. So, so like, this is a graph. I can label my vertices, call this A0, A1, A2. Uh, A1, A2, I say there's a relation between these two that's symmetric. A1 is connected to A2. A2 is connected with A1. This relation, I call it an edge. There's an edge between these two vertices. Uh, so, so the number of vertices in a graph is called the order, is the order of the graph. So this has order three. The number of edges in a graph is the size of the graph. This has size three. Uh, a subgraph of, of a graph is a graph whose vertices is a subset of some bigger graph and whose edges are a subset of the uh, edge relations in the bigger graph. So say A0, A2 with the edge between them, this thing would be a subgraph of our triangle here. Uh, So we have a couple of different, if we have a sequence of vertices, depending on the property of these sequences, we can give them, we can define them th differently. So a walk will be a sequence of vertices, uh, such that any two adjacent uh, vertices in the sequence have an edge between them. So we're just moving between vertices in any order we want. A trail has extra restriction. It's a walk that does not repeat any edges. So we go A2, A1, we're not going back from A1 to A2. We're, we do not go over the same edge twice. Uh, and a path has extra restriction. Uh, it's a, a walk where we do not repeat any vertices. Uh, if in the sequence, if we have a trail in which the beginning and end vertices are the same, it's called a circuit. If in the circuit uh, no vertex is repeated, then it's called a cycle. Uh, so one thing we can prove is if we have a trail between two vertices, uh, we can find a subsequence from that sequence such that we can then have a path between these two vertices. Uh, to do this, so say we have some trail A1, A2, da da da, AN. Uh, if A1, if there's some AL here, that has the last time A1 shows up, then, yeah, so AL is A equal to A1, then, then remove all the vertices between A1 up to AL. So AL, A2 to AL, remove all these vertices. And take as a subsequence A1, and then the next vertex is AL plus one, dot, dot, dot. And then AL plus one, do the same thing, find the last time it shows up, remove all those vertices, Take the next one. And effectively what we're doing here is so in our trail, say we start here, uh, and at some point we come to another vertex, which something happens, and then we come back to this vertex. We can remove all these different bits where something is happening. We, we're not concerned about this. We can just remove this and take as our subset just this, this, then the next one. And if we keep doing this, eventually we'll get that each vertex only appears once, and thus this is a path. So say we have some arbitrary graph G. We can show, and we're going to find degree of V. That's for any vertex V. The degree is the number of edges around it, so the number of other vertices it has a, this edge relation to. Uh, we can prove if we take the sum over all V and some graph G, take the sum of all the degrees of V, this will equal two times the, the size of G, the number of edges in G. 
And so this is a fairly simple theorem. It comes from uh, if we add up all the degrees, we're just counting each edge twice. So, so like here, the degree of the center vertex is 5. Degree of this one, 2. As we go through this, take this edge. This edge will be counted twice, once from the, the degree function here and once from the degree function here. And so we do this over all the vertices. We get uh, 12. We have six edges here, 2 times 6, 12. And so from this simple theorem, we can say one other thing. We can show the number of odd degree vertices has to be even. If you look at this equation mod 2, on the right, it's 0 mod 2. On the left, uh, any even degree verse, it's just 0 mod 2. And then the odd degree vertices are 1 mod 2. Now, if we have an odd number of odd degree vertices, 1 plus 1 plus 1, odd amount of times, so that's going to be concurrent to 1, which is not concurrent to 0. So we must have an even number of odd vertices on the left side. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this graph theory video, please check out the rest of the videos in our graph theory series. Uh, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and check out our blog, and check out centermath.org. Thank you.